how to hit harder, how to spike more powerful and make more points in attack and with serves, I'm going to answer these important questions for all volleyball players in this video. Moreover, I will show you 5 important shoulder exercises to improve your spiking power. Hi, I'm Juri Popelka, Volley Country founder. You can find volleyball advice, tips and exercises on our YouTube channel. Volleyball is a lot about attack and serving. We gain points on attack and service and the more points we make, the higher chance of winning we have. Modern volleyball is more and more about strength. Uh, every volleyball player is an athlete. Uh, volleyball player has to jump high, be fast on the ground and needs to hit hard the ball. Imagine top volleyball. I played three world championships. My surfs and spikes were flying about 110 km per hour. Nowadays, uh, there are many volleyball players and stars with more powerful spikes and surfs. Sometimes you see surf flying more than 120 km per hour. When you are playing against such strong server as a receiver, you have less than 0.5 seconds to react to these surf bombs. And when this powerful attacker hits the ball at the net with the same speed, it is very, very difficult to dig the ball in the field since the ball is in 0.2 seconds on your hands. And you know, we are not machines or robots. We are humans with limits, uh, with reaction times, which we cannot uh, fundamentally improve. But like volleyball stars, every volleyball player wants to hit hard. I'm sure you want to attack hard and score points. Uh, you know as well as I do that if we attack weakly, the ball has no speed, we are not successful, the opponent may defend us in the field or we will not uh, come through the block. How can we improve our hit, which we need on the attack and in the jumping service? Don't expect a miracle recipe from me or one piece of advice, one unique exercise that will help you to attack twice as hard in a week. There is not such a secret advice which you could find on YouTube. But I have for you five shoulder exercises which will help you a lot. Just as in the case of the jump, uh, when we want to hit the ball in the air, we use the whole body. It's a complex movement. Uh, we have to get in the air, stretch the whole body and then hit the ball. It's not just about our spiking hand or our shoulder. We engage the abdominal muscles, back, legs help us and we have to coordinate all this well in a short time. In this video, I will focus on the development of uh, dynamic force in the arm in shoulder. I'm not going to tell you to, you have to lift a 100 kg barbell to hit hard. Uh, rather, I will focus on the exercises you can do in the gym or at home. Exercises that don't require special and expensive equipment. Before we begin, uh, remember that you should have your shoulders ready before these uh, dynamic exercises. In the description you will find a link uh, to my video with preventive shoulder exercises, which will prepare your shoulders for the next exercises. I don't recommend uh, doing these exercises if you have not played volleyball for a month, uh, did not touch the ball, the shoulder was uh, without a work for a month. I also recommend uh, stretching and warming up your shoulders before each exercise. Stretching is important not only before the exercise itself, but also if you stretch regularly. You increase the range of motion of either your shoulders or other parts of your body. And the larger range of motion, the better conditions for subsequent training we create. The shoulder range of motion is also very important for the development of your powerful hit. Let's take a look at the simple shoulder exercises to help you attack and serve more powerfully. We will need resistance band and medicine ball. We start with easier exercises, uh, shoulder rotator exercises. We tie the resistance bands at the level of the shoulders behind a rod or a pole by the net. We rise to the distance in which the band is stretched. Then we pull the resistance band from top to bottom. We create a lever where the band is bent at the elbow. The elbow is at the same height as the shoulder. It doesn't move, only the forearm works. We do the same on the other side. Now with less resistance, the band is not stretched so much. We pull the band back. The starting position is with the forearm at the same height as the elbow. Again, we create a lever. The end point is the hand in an upright position.
Now we will practice the imitation of our hand spiking movement. It's not only a movement of the hand, but also a rotation of our body. If I am right-handed, I have my left leg in front. Hold resistant band stretched behind your body and simulate the hit. Your left hand stays up as if you are pointing at an incoming ball. The elbow is at head level, the hand is extended during the simulation. Resistant band is an ideal helper because it creates an increasing resistance in this movement. To develop dynamics in the arm, we need not only a fast hand in moving forward, but also a fast hand in moving backwards. In particular, middle blockers during quick sets from setters must open quickly when spiking and hitting quick sets. Spikers and opposite usually have more time for this move because the ball is flying to them more than one second. But it's good to be complex player and prepared for such a quick movement. We are in the same position as when practicing the hand spiking movement. But now the resistance band is attached in front of us. This is a mirror image of the forward movement, which we perform backwards. We stretch the band from the horizontal position towards the back. We add the rotation of the body. The last but extremely important exercise to improve our spiking power is uh, to throw a medicine ball into the ground. This exercise is done by players all around the world. According to our conditions, we choose the right weight of the medicine ball. For example, in our men's national team, uh, we threw a 4 or 5 kilogram medicine ball. A 14-year-old boy should not have a medicine ball heavier than 2 kilograms. It's not a shame to start with a lighter medicine ball and move on to heavier. It's a better way than using a heavy medicine ball and then having uh, shoulder problems. We hold the medicine ball over our head. Then we make a backward movement with it. We try to touch the neck with the medicine ball and we bend slightly. This movement is slow. As soon as we touch the neck, we start throwing the medicine ball into the ground. The head bends slightly when moving. We can have a mat on the ground to save medicine ball or throw it in the grass outside. For the throw, we mainly use the strength of the shoulders and arms. We do not engage the abdominal muscles. It's important to move in the maximum range of motion as far as possible. We do not throw a medicine ball out of overhead position. We don't engage the abdominal muscles during this exercise. There are other exercises for this. We also reduce the chance that the medicine ball will bounce off the ground in our face. We try to isolate the movement to engage the chain from shoulder, elbow to wrist. I recommend doing exercises with resistant band or medicine ball twice a week, initially two or three series of six to eight repetitions. After a month you can go on with four series of ten repetitions. If you manage this progression, there is no need to add series or repetitions, rather switch to heavier resistance band or heavier medicine ball. I did these exercises and I am still doing them to develop my sparking power. They have proved themselves to me and I am sure they will help you to develop uh, strength and dynamics of your shoulders. On the other hand, uh, your goal should not be to do just uh, these exercises. As I said at the beginning, uh, spiking and serving movement are complex movement. Only strength and dynamics in the arm is not enough uh, for your powerful spikes. It is necessary to develop other involved parts of the body. We will look at this in one of the future videos. So don't miss these exercises and hit the subscribe button now. I believe that uh, these exercises will help you. You will have more powerful hits when spiking and serving. You will feel more confident and become a better player. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.